Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smita. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you a simple but sparkly look for Eid, which is coming up pretty soon. So if you're ready, let's begin. I'm going for a nice dewy, fresh, luminous look today. So I'm going to be starting with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. This is a great way to freshen up and get your skin awake before you use anything else over it. Then for primer, I'm going to be using the Liquid Silk Canvas again from Tatcha. This has to be my favorite combination. Start with the mist and then with this primer. I've said this before, this is a weightless oil-free liquid silk primer and it lives up to its name. It feels really like silk on the skin. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Hello Happy Air Stick Foundation. This is from Benefit Cosmetics and I'm in the shade 5. As you can see, it glides on so smoothly because I'm going for that fresh dewy look. I chose this foundation. Usually I shy away from stick foundations because they give you a very cakey finish, but not this one. It's breathable and feels weightless and just observe my skin while I apply it and blend it out. It gives you that beautiful glow. That's because it's infused with shea butter and it also has inbuilt SPF of 20. So it gives you some sun protection as well. To add some structure to the face, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Contour Stick in Call Me Maple. Using a cream contour gives you a subtle finish because you'll be using powders over this. So it kind of blends it out and gives you that seamless, subtle, uh, really soft finish as opposed to powder contours which you apply over your finishing powder and that looks a little bit more harsh. To conceal around my eyes and for spot correction, I'm going to be using the Milani Concealer in the shade 145. And to blend it out, I'm using a damp sponge. This one is from Colourpop. Just so the base makeup doesn't move, it's important to set and seal it. And for that, I'm going to be using the MAC uh, Studio Fix Powder. This is in the shade NW35. And then I'm going to use the Tatcha Mist one more time to keep my face and makeup looking fresh. And it's also going to melt all the powders and give it more of a skin-like finish. For brows, I'm going to be using the Benefit Precisely My Brows in 4.5. Starting with the top part of the brows, I'm going to start filling in the sparse areas and shaping it. And then using the spoolie in the back of the brow pencil, I'm going to brush my brow hair upwards and fill in the bottom part of my brows. My eye makeup is going to be super simple, but it looks so pretty with all the sparkles. Juno released these really cute four eyeshadow palettes called Starlet and I'm going to be using the Dreamer. Using this deep gray eyeshadow, first I'm going to carve out my crease. The brush that I'm using is a pointed blending brush by Carity. I'm also going to be using it in the outer and inner corners and also smoking it out in my lower lash line.
Next, I'm going to be using this sparkly pressed glitter, but the glitter is very fine, not a chunky glitter. I'm going to be applying it right in the center of my lid using a flat shader brush from ColourPop. Because it's a pressed glitter, you don't even need an adhesive or a base for this. You can apply it directly. And you can see how subtle and sparkly that is. It almost has a bluish green reflex. The camera doesn't even do justice. It looks so beautiful in person. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using Deuce Beauty. This is a liquid liner pen and I'm going to be pulling out a small wing and lining my top lash line. And in my waterline, I'm just going to be using a black eye pencil by Colourpop. From the Juno Bombshell palette, I'm going to be using the highlighter to highlight my inner corners as well as brow bones. And then I'm going to finish up with some mascara and lashes. But before that, I will be curling my lashes. And for mascara, I'm going to be using the Grande Lash Mascara. For lashes, I wanted to keep it very simple. So I'm going to be using Pixie by Kiss, which gives a very natural look. But if you don't want to use false lashes, you don't have to. Just apply a good coat of mascara. And that is the completed eye look. And now let's finish up the rest of the face. I'm just going to be using the Juno Bombshell palette to sculpt my face. I'm not using the bronzer. I'm just going to be working with the blush and the highlighter. I'm starting with the blush. I'm applying it a little bit higher to give some structure. Let me know if you guys want to know more about blush placements and how it changes your face structure. Just comment below and I'll be happy to do a video for you guys. And then I'm applying the highlighter from the Juno palette. Again, very lightly. We just want a fresh glow. And the brush that I'm using is the Sigma Highlighting Brush. To balance out the sparkly eyes, I decided to go with a nude lipstick. This is one of my favorites, Sani Bell by Ofra Cosmetics. And here's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to thumbs up and please subscribe. If you're new here, you'll hear from me every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays with new videos. For your convenience, I've listed everything that I've used in this tutorial in the description box right below this video. And you'll also find my social media links there. I love you guys so much. Eid Mubarak in advance and I'll see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys. <laughs>